Hey folks, Captain Dave here. What I wanted to do is kind of do another follow-up. I'm always doing follow-ups. But I did a hugely popular uh, video, sort of a show and tell. I don't call anything a review because I'm not that thorough. But I did a show and tell on my boat about the GoPro Jaws flex mount. Okay, I mean, if you've been around the GoPros for a little while now, now you've seen the best mount they ever built. Okay, um, here it is. You know, you got the flexing, clamping on anything. Okay, I'm not going to go into it, all the details on it. But this is the GoPro. This is not a knockoff. This is the real one. And uh, the GoPro Flex Jaws mount, I think is what it's referred to. And um, one thing you'll notice, the longer you own this and the more you use it, um, you know, it'll loosen up. You can't get away from the squeak, though. I try to edit all the squeaks out of my videos. Because here it is, it's sitting up on my boat, okay? We got a fish on. You know, here it is, it's clamped somewhere on the boat, and we got a fish on, and then you hear, okay, I try to edit that out, because that sound just reverberates right into the case. You can't get away from it. I've tried everything. I've tried spraying inside each one of these little knuckles. I've tried spraying dry silicone. I've even used Armor All, which probably Armor All is not a bad thing. Um, overall, overall with Armor All, uh, <laughs> to, um, you know, mine's out on the boat. It's getting saltwater bathed, you know, um, probably a little protection, plastic protection, never hurt anything. But what I'm really wanting to show you is because now that I've seen, I've seen on GoPro's website, they're, I think they're selling just the arms separate. And if you look like I do, I'm a constant eBay shopper. On eBay, um, over in China or Hong Kong, as I guess that's all the same thing. Um, they're selling just the arm by itself without this, without the, um, without the clamp. But then again, they're selling the, uh, the whole thing over there, and it's probably a knockoff. I would assume it's probably a knockoff. Uh, they're selling the entire system here, this and the, and the, uh, the clamp, they're selling separately or together, and um, I, I assume they're probably knockoffs because they're like really dirt cheap. But what I wanted to show you was as a boater, yes, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, let me tell you. But here's the deal. You purchase yourself one of the new GoPro tripod mounts, a clip tripod mount, okay? And it's got, you know, two positions here for to go into a quarter 20, right? And you can make a boat pole or a boom or, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, a GoPro pole. You can make it so easy, especially if you're a boater. Okay, so what I did is I'll show you. I did a video about this too a while back. Is I took what would be referred to as a boat pole. Okay. Okay. This would normally, this extends out really far. I took a boat pole and I took the end, very end off here. And I took this cap off the top of a tripod. All right. And I got rid of the boat hook part and I jammed this down in here. It just so happened to work out so perfectly. But you can do about anything. You can get real imaginative to get a quarter 20 bolt and a base like this sticking out of an extendable pole. 
I needed a heavy duty, you know, I didn't want no little light pole. So I got this on there, right? Well, I take my quarter 20 tripod clip base and I screw it to the top of my pole. Tighten that up real good. Alrighty. And then I take my flex arm and Al, I have got, I would refer to as probably the best situation you could ever want. Right? Look at this. I mean, I could take this thing anywhere. And now I actually stick it down in my rod holders in the boat. They've got this big rubber grip on the end here. I notched it to go into the gimbal pin. So on the base of my rod holders, there's a pin. And I lock it into the pin. And then I take this foam and I jam that down into the rod holder so it all holds it nice and secure. And then while it's nice and secure, the pole's not moving, I can do anything I want. It's too bad this makes noise. I call it the, the GoPro flex arm squeak sound. Okay. But this will loosen up over time. I've noticed mine has gotten a lot easier to move around. Okay. It does cost you a, bun a bunch of edits if that bothers you, which it sort of bothers me. Um, I don't want to con be, you know, confusing people with this noise when a drag's burning off a rod or something. But, so now what you got is, of course, you've got your movement here. You got your movement here. All right, and then you can bring it up Use it for a selfie, okay, as I think the kiddies are calling their photographs on their phones. All right. And then, in one swift motion, I swing it around, and bam, I can go right in the water, and I can go in the water a long ways away from where I'm at, and I can stick this out. Stick it right in the shark's face. Now, that's when I'm operating the camera. See, I get a lot of folks who don't want to do that for me because they're afraid. But there you go. That's my tip and my trick. When you're on a boat, go ahead and get yourself this base. Okay. And screw that new trick that new fancy tripod base that GoPro come up with where your clip, your buckle goes into it. Get yourself an old, just an old boat pole here. You can get them at any, you know, boating supply dealers. And if you find the right one, okay, you'll be able to take the hook part that's in here for, we use it, you know, boat hooks or boat poles are used for grabbing a cleat and pulling the boat in close to the dock, handing somebody a dock line. Many times I use, I keep a separate boat pole and a gaff on the boat because, of course, every time you take a woman out, she never wants to crunch her hat down because she don't want to get a, you know, bad hair day. And inevitably those hats go flying off the women and sometimes bald guys. <laughs> So I don't have any hair to hold them hats on. But a boat pole, 20 bucks, okay, maybe, 25 bucks. Um, modify it, do what you need to do. Gives you a nice little project. There's a million, there's a million videos on YouTube about how to make a GoPro pole. I mean, the old, uh, you know, smashing the end of a, a ski pole and all that stuff. But I'll tell you, I've tried almost everything. This is the ticket. And it's the ticket when you take your new tripod, GoPro tripod buckle mount 
and you put it on here like that and now you've got the ultimate in flexibility right so this is what works for me and I thought I'd pass it on but unfortunately there's nothing we can do as GoPro JAWS users to get away from the squeak if you've come up with a way to keep the squeak which listen on this one I'm using one right now <laughs> if you've come up with a way to get rid of the squeak go ahead and put it in the comments below and let me know and if you found a way that you like building a pole go ahead and let me know but as a boat or fisherman this is the this is the cat's meow right here because I wanted to make something that locks down you can buy commercially made things that do the same thing they go into your pole holder they lock down they extend a little bit then they have a flex arm right and you could pay $95 for those. Well, I just did one, two, three pieces, and I got what I needed. So, there you go, folks, and happy squeaking.